What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Gimme That. Back on your heels with yet another video. And y'all already know, my first shout out is always gonna go to God. That boy is good! And I appreciate everything that he does for me and mine on a daily basis. He's the reason I'm here in front of y'all, able to make this video, because he keep my world and all the pieces in it intact, and I'll forever be grateful. Second shout out goes to the Gimme That Gang affiliation. Everybody that comes through here religiously or just in passing, I definitely want to send a shout out to y'all always because I appreciate y'all leaving likes, comment, subscribing to the channel, and definitely helping grow that Gimme That Fitness Faith and Not Guns community. Make sure y'all stay on top of your game because we got to be hard to kill out here with our fitness. We got to make sure coronavirus, we got to make sure any other disease, any other plague, whatever it is that's trying to take our life away from us, we got to make sure that we are strong, fortified mentally, physically. And we do that by staying on top of our diet with nutrition. We do that by staying on top of our physical fitness with working out at least 20, 30 minutes a day. As me being a personal trainer, I'm just trying to bring my gifts, my talents, and extend them out to you to give me that gang affiliation and help you guys along with your health and fitness. That's my job. You already know why we're here. We're going back to the guns, baby. Not these, but these, baby. So I want to go ahead and bring y'all my CMMG Banshee Chamber in 5.7. Hold up, let's get one thing straight. That safety first, that thing is empty. I know it's empty because I just got it out the shop. Why is it in the shop, you might ask? I mean, everything here seemed pretty stock, you know, except for the, the vector optics, and I'll go over everything in, in a minute. But go ahead and let y'all know, and I do got those, uh, those blue boys in here. Blue boy. You know those blue tips. Eighty dollars a box though. So fucking terrible. And five seven is not a nice round. It's not nice on the pockets. Terrible. You understand? Eighty dollars a box for these. So you know I can't go to the range a lot for eighty dollars a box. I'm not doing it. But I got these things. Should anything go down, home defense on deck. Let's put it back in here. But <clears throat> why was it in the shop? Okay, let's start off by saying this. If it wasn't in the shop, God forbid something happened and I had to use this, I wouldn't be here before you guys to be able to make these videos. It'd be no more Mr. Gimme That. Did you know? This thing had jamming issues. Like it was jamming up so bad. It was frustrating me so much. Like when I took it to the range and man, I, I, I was really disappointed. I really felt like I wasted my money. And it was kind of conflicting because I like it. I like the little package. By the way, this is Benjamin Button. I call him Benjamin Button because he's such a little, such a big man. He's a big man because this, 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 this is a big, this, this, this five seven. It, it do work when it operates according to you know the videos and stuff. But it's a big man in such a small package. This is a small package. So this is my. Benjamin Button, call him Benji, Ben, Mr. Buttons, whatever you want to call him. But I like Benjamin Button, you know. <clears throat> My girl wanted to name him Beauty or something, but when she get her own firearms, she can name her own firearms. Ain't no reason to lie, I said it. It was jamming, man. Like I, I was shooting it at the range and the trigger would get stuck and I would have to push the trigger forward and put it back again. It was, it was really aggravating. Sometime I was having um, feed issues or whatnot and it, it just was an overall terrible experience. However, um, again, that's why I'm here. I'm glad I'm here. I did speak with uh, one of the Gimme That Gang affiliates and they said I could have sent it back to CMMG and um, they would have fixed it for you know free or whatever. Wish I would have knew that going forward, but me, I'm impatient. I needed to get it fixed right away. So I took it to the gunsmith. Um, I just got it back yesterday and they said that, um, what did they say the problem was? They said it was something with the Cerakote clogging up in there. Um, they gave me a, a, a reason. They said that it needed to be, uh, it needed to be oiled up a little more than what it was. So they oiled it up and did whatever it is they did. And um, she should be ready to go. Uh, <clears throat> again, $80 a box. So I haven't been able to take it to the range. I mean, I do have range rounds available, you know, on hand. And I will be, you know, this upcoming week to see if the problem is rectified because I do enjoy this gun. 
it wasn't my first choice. I did want this gun, but I wanted it in, wanted it in 45 ACP. I couldn't find 45 ACP, and when I did find it, it was like 19 to $2,100. Me paying that price. By the zero. So I did want, you know, the Banshee. So I seen, you know, 5.7. I've been hearing a lot about 5.7. You know, good reviews as far as velocity and, you know, accuracy and being dependable. And I'm like, hey, I, you know, I like that. You know, let me go in and give it a shot. And so <clears throat> I went ahead and got this. It's definitely not even the color. You know, all my boys are Cerakoted. This one came from the factory Cerakoted and the um, OD Green. I wanted the slate, but I'll take it. Who knows? I might be changing it later on down the line, but. Let's talk about it. So um, it came with the rip and grip brace. I like that you just pull it and just, you know, get, get into the action. Um, it is comfortable on the shoulder, pull that thing, get me out of the way, and then you can just get it there and you know, you're ready for action. It's, it's nice and comfortable. Way better than that, that Shockwave brace on the, um, on the PSA that we got. And we did a gun review on that as well. PSA took that to the range, it shot okay, but just like I thought, that brace, that Shockwave brace is a piece of garbage. It's here way better i like it not gonna change it gonna keep it charger handle um i'm gonna take this out i might have to charge it i like it i'm right, so dexterous it's big you know why for the guys with the big hands i like to shoot you know with gloves on and then all that i'm not doing i don't need gloves but i like it though it's, um, it is what it is um we got the mag pool the mag pool pistol grip which is which is awesome i like that as well um Nothing too special about that. Only you seen one, you seen them all. Uh, ambidextrous safety controls right there. What else? And of course, the most important, the optic. Here we have the Vector optic. Y'all know I got that on uh, my Draco, my Draco, and um. Uh, I'm cool with the Vector Optic, man. You know, it's 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 a budget optic. You know, when you hold it up against Hollow Sun and and um, I forgot the other one, but all of them, other Delta Pro, all that. This is definitely a, a, a um, budget optic. I'm fine with that. You no, know, um, I was when it did shoot, when it did shoot reliably um, at the range last time I took it, it was on point. I was very pleased with the uh, with the grouping. You know, overall, the gun is a great shooter. Like, if you're interested in this, um, you know, I don't know, hopefully you don't have the same problems I did, but this is a, is a great shooter, a very flat shooter, allow you to follow up shots quickly. And that's my favorite part. So this ain't moving, man. Once you put this like a laser, it ain't, it's almost fake, man. It, it kind of make you just like, feel like you're playing with a toy. And I know, disclaimer, my gun is not a toy. I'm not saying that, but like, I don't know, you get so used to the big boom, you know, from the 300 blackout, Danny boy, from the 762 by 39 with Mr. Dylon spitting the hot fire. And then you got the, the big 5.7 that's, that's shooting these laser beams, throwing these laser beams. And it's like kind of just, I ain't moving. Feel good though, it feel good. Um, And that's, you know, overall why I when I got my uh my little budget light. You feel me, it's, it's, it's gonna hold. Hold on, malfunction, oh. I feel the same we got a malfunction on camera. That's a bad look. No. But yeah, this this thing, this thing works, trust me, every time. That little mishap we just had, that was that was on me. My button pressing skills went up to par, but I like this thing. It's gonna allow me to see that somebody should run up in my residence. I'll be able to identify and handle the threat accordingly. But um if you're looking for the for a good AR pistol, and I want to keep you know, in the AR platform, because it was either this or the um, the Micro Scorpion I was looking at. But, um, you know, I chose to go with this. What for? The AR platform with being familiar with it. And, um, you know, always easy to clean and, and operate and take apart. And I like that. So I went with this. Uh, <clears throat> overall, did get the Extendo for that boy. Let's, let's go ahead and look at the Extendo for a minute. And they, they do have this oversized uh, mag drop. Uh, mag drop, forgive me for my ignorance right now. You know you know what this is, the paddle for the mag drop. It's, it's oversized, but boom, extend it. Nigga, that shit go together. Thing look good. 
However, they did warn against the uh, saying that the extended mag doesn't run as well, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Listen, I'm excited about taking this gun to the range. It let me down the first time, but I did get a couple of uh, some feedback from you know the, the two way community and the Gimme That Gang affiliation. And they said they have banshees and they they run fine. You know, I had one person say they had some hiccups and. You know, they're addressing it now. They banshees run fine. So I have no reason to believe that this, you know, will run fine now and will be the home defense. I don't know. It's, it's, I know I keep going back and forth with this. I'll be switching them up. I leave this by my bed now. And then, you know, sometime I have Danny, that DDM4 PDW. I'm strapped in! You know, then I have Dylon 762 big boy rounds. But, you know, they say that the ears, you know, you're going to go deaf. But quick question. I'd rather be deaf or dead. Um, I'd rather be neither, but I mean, I gotta have something now. I gotta have something now. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and have this and, you know, maybe sometime I can have Roscoe, Roscoe, my um, Glock 19. And so that's that's pretty much it, what I what I got for, for you guys today. I definitely appreciate you all um, stopping by. Oh, if you're interested in the price of this, you stayed along. It was $14.50. I got it from Smoky Guns, Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo. Yeah, something like that. $14.50. So, I mean, with times that we in right now, I mean, I feel like you couldn't beat it. Like I said, the gun is impressive. I had them few hiccups. I mean, I really don't think that those hiccups will persist, but I will definitely keep you guys posted for surely. Um, they said to keep it nice and oiled, which I will do. And um, other than that, I shouldn't have any issues or any problems with it. On top of that! Boom. This is my Vertex EDC 2.0 everyday carry bag. And guess who's coming with me? When you see me with this bag, you already know what time it is. This, this, look at this. You'll never even know. I don't feel like standing up and doing all that, but boom. We right here. Fit that boy in here. Boom. Watch battle rap, no K shine, zip him up. Zip that thing up, and boom. Me in there, put that thing on my back and go. So that was another reason why I wanted to get something small and something compact, you know, as a CMG Banshee. Like I said, I wanted the 45 ACP, but I'll do just fine with the five seven, you know, just as long as it, it shoots well. So other than that, I ain't gonna keep y'all here much further. Remember, stay on top of your health and fitness. If you guys like this video, you wanna see more, you wanna dialogue about something, you got some advice for me, you know, you wanna see some fitness workouts, go ahead and drop down in the comments, man, and just go ahead and just leave a like for me so we can go ahead and continue to grow this community, continue to encourage one another within fitness and within the two-way community. So with that being said, I'm out. Give me that. That's all I got to say about that.